today I have a little Sephora haul. I actually got the stuff before the VIB sale and I didn't really qualify for VIB anyways just because I have like two Sephora accounts with like two separate um, like points and everything. I don't know how that works but like I have an online one as well as a store one. So yeah, I don't know how that worked but anyways, I was really really excited for this NARS collection. I only got three things from the collection but yeah, I was super excited for it and it's the... Guy Bourdain collection or Guy Bourdain, I don't know how to say it. Um, I know that there has been a lot of like controversy with this th collection, but I based I based my purchase solely based on the products and the colors, just because I really really like the colors, and not based on the artist or whoever Nars collabed with. Um, I really enjoy Nars cosmetics, and I'm really not gonna get into like the whole um, controversy with it. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, I, I don't really know a lot about this artist at all. I just know that um, there was... I read Tantalia's blog on it and it was too much about him, the artist. I never even Googled him or anything. I just bought the stuff basically based on the colors of the collection that came out. So yeah, um, I'm just going to get started. So I'm going to get started with the blush. So this is what the packaging looks like, the outer packaging. And the inner packaging is just the regular NARS packaging. I've been using this blush like crazy ever since the day I got it. And I'm actually wearing it right now. You probably won't be able to see it. Um, maybe, not, maybe not. I don't know. I put a little bit more than I would normally so you guys could kind of see it. But I don't know about this lighting. So um, and this is really hard to take out now. <laughs> okay. So it's just the regular NARS packaging. Mine's a little bit dirty now because I've used it a couple times. So it looks like that. Um... This is the blush, and it's in the color Daydream, and basically it's very similar to Orgasm and Deep Throat. I would say it's a little bit darker than both Orgasm and Deep Throat, and it's just basically the colors mixed. It's like a pinky peach color, and it has um, a tiny bit of shimmer, but not so much. Like, it doesn't even barely show up. It's more of like a satin finish, I would say. Um, and it's just a really, really gorgeous color. I hope you can see my swatch right there. But, um, yeah, that's the blush. And when I saw this collection online, um, I knew that I had to get this blush. The other one was a really, like, deep pink color, kind of a magenta color. I have a ton of blushes that look like that. Um, like Nars Matahari, if you have that. You probably don't need the other blush in this collection. But this blush in the color Daydream is a favorite and I really highly recommend it. Um, also this collection came out with a cheek palette that I actually suggested my friend buy. Um, I convinced her to buy it and it's her first um, NARS blush. Well actually blushes because there's like six of them but that's a great deal. It just, um, I didn't purchase that personally because I already have the Denmari palette and all the and some of the colors are really similar, but um, that is awesome. And if you don't have the Denmari palette, definitely check out the blush palette in this collection. It's awesome. So I also got the lipstick and, well, one lipstick. There was, I think, three of them. I don't know. Um, this is in the color Goodbye Emmanuel, and this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now um, underneath a MAC gloss. So same packaging. This is actually my second NARS lipstick and I really like NARS lip products actually. So this is what that looks like. Um, the thing about NARS lipsticks is that they are really nice. They are nice, creamy, and pigmented from what I've tried. Um, the other one I have is actually Roman Holiday which is a really popular um, lighter pink color. But yeah, it's kind of the same finish I would say. Uh, it's like a semi-matte but it's really, really creamy. It goes on really smooth and pigmented, so it's right there. This is a gorgeous color. It's nothing like super, super unique, but um, these are the kind of colors that I tend to go for, like a medium-ish hot pink. I just, I love colors like this, so I knew that I had to get this lipstick when I saw it. So um, the very last thing is an eyeshadow. Eyeshadow in Mississippi Mermaid. And um, I don't know if this is a new finish or something like that. Cool. As for the blush and, I mean not the blush, the eyeshadow and the lipstick, they're both um, cinematic lipstick and cinematic eyeshadow. New finish or anything, but this eyeshadow is really nice, smooth, buttery, and really pigmented. So this is the color Mississippi Mermaid, and it's a color, I picked a color that I could use on an everyday basis, I guess. Um, it's nothing really that unique. Um, they have other colors that were brighter, and I knew that I probably wouldn't get a lot of use out of, so I went with the safer one. And um, I really do like the name of it, Mississippi Mermaid. So um, it's a really nice champagne color. So it looks like that. 
Um, the thing about neutral colors like this is that you can play around with them a lot. That's what I tend to do. I put different bases underneath them. I try like different colors like taupe, um, like maybe a golden bronzy brown, uh, something similar to this color or I don't know like something with a pinky rosier tone and I don't know they're just very versatile and you can just do different things with them in my opinion and they really look good as a lid color as everyday basis kind of color so that's really really nice um, it's very so it's kind of like a shimmery frosty finish but I do really like the finish of it um, like I said it's very pigmented and buttery I love it so I'm very happy with the stuff I picked up from this collection even though there's only three things um, but I actually did uh, I ordered this stuff online by the way so not only did I get free shipping but I also got this and this Actually, I don't know if you can get this in the Sephora store, but um, it's just a bag full of samples and I'm really, really happy about it because <laughs> there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. So th the first thing is the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Prep Spray. So I guess this is like a facial spray that you put underneath your makeup, maybe like on top of it, I don't know. But um, it has willow bark and vitamins, vitamin B, vitamin E. And it's supposed to be good for um, like redness and it minimizes pores, absorbs oil, all that good stuff. So I'm super excited to try this. And the puddle is so, so adorable. So um, this is a great sample size. And I really like trying new facial sprays. So um, there's also a fresh lip balm in here. And this is in the color Rose, I think. Oh, it's called Sugar Petal. And this is just one of those mini fresh lip balms. Looks like that. Um, the thing that I don't like about fresh lip balms is that they melt really easily. But yeah, it's a really pretty color. It's definitely a nice wearable, like, mauve -y rose color. So that's that. Um, see, there's, like, deluxe samples. Not only did I get this bag, but I got some, like, mini perfume samples as well. So I got Dot by Marc Jacobs, which I have the full size of. Um, a Lacoste one and a toka one looks like that and these are just those mini little vial things um those didn't come those didn't come in the bag but um i got those as well um this tinted beauty bomb by Too faced which i'm actually giving to my friend because it does not match me it's way 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 too dark um a clean perfume little vial and this is a Living Proof Anti-Frizz Nourishing Styling Cream, which is really cool. I'm excited to try this, even though my hair rarely gets frizzy because it's straight. Um, I just, I don't know, I like trying new hair stuff, so. And this is a pretty good size as well. And it also came with an Origins Anti-Aging Cream, so a little tiny moisturizer here as well. Or actually not tiny, this is actually a good size as well. Um, it also came with a Benefit, not Benefit, what's it called? Buxom Mascara, and it's actually in my drawer right now. It's the next mascara that I'm going to use after the one that I'm currently using, because I really wanted to try that for the longest time. I just didn't want to purchase it in full size, because it is kind of expensive. But um, I finally got... Uh, I finally got a sample of that. I think it's like Buxom, I don't know what the name of it is, but yeah. It also came with that and also came with like this little oil um, hair treatment or like serum thing, which um, I don't have it in here obviously. It's kind of with my hair stuff. So um, that's pretty much it for my little Sephora haul. I know I don't really do that many Sephora hauls because I feel like every time I go there I kind of buy essential stuff like my Clarisonic brush heads and you know I may buy like a palette here and there but nothing really worth hauling but um, in this case like with the sample kit and like the three NARS things I just felt like doing a Sephora haul so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video bye everyone